Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on finding the moment of resistance in doubly reinforced beams. Let us read the question and write the given data. A reinforced concrete beam of rectangular section of size 300 mm by 500 mm effective. B is given as 300 and the effective depth is given as 500 is reinforced with 4 bars of 20 mm diameter at tension. Using that data, we can find AST and 3 bars of 16 mm diameter at compression. Using that data, we can find the area of the steel in compression at an effective cover of 50 mm. D dash is 50. We need to find the ultimate moment of resistance FCK is 20 and FI is 415. We need to open this codebook, page number 96, where the ultimate moment of resistance of a section exceeds the limiting value. MU limit compression reinforcement may be obtained from the following equation. This is the equation we are going to use to find the moment of resistance MU. Let us see step by step. The first step is to find x u max upon d. In the code book, we have to open page number 70. For FI 415, x u max upon d is 0.48. The effective depth d is given in the question as 500. 0.48 into 500, we will get 240 millimeter. Now we need to find the stress in the compression steel. In the code book, we have to open the page number 96. We need to find FSC. This FSC is given for this strain. We know that Young small s e is equal to stress by strain. So the stress will be strain into Young modulus. This is the strain and we have to multiply with the Young modulus of steel. In the code book, page number 70, the Young's modulus of steel is given as 200,000 Newton per millimeter square. So for ES, we can apply 2 into 10 power 5. X U max just before we have calculated. The effective cover D dash is given in the question as 50. For the stress, we will get this. In the code book, page number 69, it is given that for design purposes, the partial safety factor in the case of stresses in reinforcement should be 1.15. So it will be Fi upon 1.15. We can approximately write this as 0.87 Fi. Fsc should not be more than 0.87 Fi, which is 361. In this case, we have to take Fsc as a 361 Newton per millimeter square. Let us open the code book, page number 96. AST will be equal to AST1 plus AST2. Here AST2 is AST FSC upon 0.87 FI. Let us write that. Just before we know that 0.87 FI is FSC. We can apply that. We can eliminate FSC. In this case, AST2 and ASC will be same. Initially, we have calculated ASC. We can apply that. We can write this expression. In the beginning, we have calculated AST. AST2 just before we have calculated. So, AST1 will be 653.46 mm square. Now, we can take this expression. We can eliminate D on both of the sides. Instead of AST, we have to apply AST1. For XU, we will get this, which is less than XU max. In this case, the section is under reinforced. In the next calculations, we have to use XU. Suppose if the section is over reinforced, we have to use XU max. From the code book, page number 96, we can copy this formula. In the formula, instead of XU max, we have to use XU. For these two terms, we can take LCM, 1 into D, it will be D. We can eliminate this D, this D and D square. 
for point three six x u b f c k we can apply point eight seven f y a s t one. In this way, for m u limit, we can make this expression, but we have to find m u. From the code book, we can copy this uh, formula. We can take this term on the other side, so it will come as uh, positive. For m u limit, just before we have made an expression, we can apply that. In this one, we can apply all of the values, so that we will get m u in newton millimeter. We can divide this by 10 power 6, so that we will get the answer in kilo newton meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.